I thought it might be helpful for me to walk you through my food choices, my food staples, piggybacking off of my previous video where I showed you my so-called champion foods that I eat. I thought it might be helpful to do this because I understand that for many of you, adopting a healthier lifestyle is something new and completely foreign uh, because you've been eating a certain way all your life perhaps or that you were raised on certain foods and you're hoping to make a change to uh, less processed foods and focusing more on whole foods, I thought this might be helpful. So I'll just go uh, stepwise and hopefully this helps. Avocados. Uh, I just, I eat one every single day. So just ordinary avocados. Let's see, oysters. Probably many of you are curious what oysters I buy. This is the kind I buy. It's whole oysters. The brand is Ocean Prince. The only ingredients are whole oysters, water, and salt. So the way I eat these is I open the can, I put my fork in and I apply the fork to mouth and I eat them that way or I will put them in soup or I will top a salad with them and while I'm at that I'll show you um, two of the brands of sardines that I eat uh, this is from Trader Joe's and these are just from the supermarket I like both for different reasons no salt added in spring water I like to eat these and I drizzle olive oil on top and then I particularly like the ones from Trader Joe's because these have the bone in, so the nutrient profile is boosted by way of additional calcium in the soft bones, which I eat, and they're meant to be eaten. This is a really good source of healthy cholesterol, healthy omega-3 fats, essential fatty acids, so just a really good brain-boosting, beauty-boosting, anti-aging powerhouse food. I love sardines. And then the, I like also this product. Um, this is sockeye salmon, again, with the bones and the skin. Wild caught, it's convenient for salads. And again, just fast food. This, my version of fast food is just eating these types of foods. Kirkland, the Costco Kirkland uh, Wild Caught Alaskan Salmon. Those are fillets, so I like to cook those and eat them on top of salads or uh, just on their own with a side of vegetables and olive oil. And then the cod liver I like is this one. It's a product of Iceland. I've been eating this one for years, many, many, many years. And this is very, very good. And I also like this one. This one's a little harder to find, but I quite like it. Just cod liver in oil. Uh, both of these, uh, cod liver is an, an amazing source of vitamin D, which is kind of hard to get in the diet or, or get enough of, I should say, and a, a powerhouse of vitamin A. So preformed retinol that you hear me talking about again and again, uh, cod liver and beef liver. This is my beef liver and I've done a whole video on how I prepare this, but I have these just on hand in the freezer so that I can eat them as, uh, as I need to. I treat beef liver as a supplement. So, so once a week I eat beef liver. Let's see, potatoes. The Japanese sweet potatoes I get, I cook them and I keep them in the refrigerator cold so that I can consume it as resistant starch, which has benefits for the gut microbiome specifically, but it also is very good in the way of how it metabolizes in the body. Uh, consuming them cold after they're cooked has an increased benefit for uh, the gut microbiota and it enhances digestion and it improves the metabolism of the complex carbohydrate. So I just get these at the Asian grocery store and I have those always on hand. And let's see, I have berries, uh, just frozen wild blueberries. I always have those uh, in my freezer and I often eat berries as dessert with chocolate. So I like that. And speaking of chocolate, <laughs> this is the chocolate I like. This is 100% unsweetened chocolate. This is my favorite kind, but I also have bought the Baker's chocolate, just the unsweetened, this one. And this one is good as well. They're both good. I like unsweetened, completely dark chocolate, 100%. I am very hardcore. I like a bitter, bitter chocolate. 
kimchi. The kimchi is homemade by my loving hands. So I always have a jar of kimchi on the go in my refrigerator. That's something I'm never without. So I home, I make that by hand and I have created uh, several videos about that. If you are interested in making your own kim kimchi, which I highly recommend you do. The eggs that I get, I always just look for pasture raised eggs. So these are the ones I'm currently uh, eating. Just pasture raised large uh, eggs. And that's a staple in my diet, never without that. Green tea, the green tea I like, the, the brand that I've been drinking for um, over a decade and a half is this one. And I buy that from Costco. It's an excellent value and it's also my favorite as far as taste wise. Uh, it's a blend of sencha and matcha tea, but it's bright dark green and I just love the taste of it. So that's my go-to favorite, but I do quite like the Mr. Lee's organic green tea, which I have recently found and I do enjoy. Olive oil. So I'm quite the olive oil um, lover <laughs> and I have several on hand, but in here is the Kirkland uh, signature from Costco, um, their olive oil, their house brand olive oil. So I always have that. Uh, it is very good. I've been using that for over six years now. Um, I also have this one. This is very good. Extra virgin olive oil. Always buy extra virgin. Don't ever buy anything besides extra virgin olive oil. And then my other favorite is this one. And this is uh, California. And this one is really, really good. I particularly like this one for drinking. And yes, I will use an actual shot glass and I pour it in here and I drink it like um, medicine. <laughs> so uh, I swear by that. I've been doing that for a while and I swear by it. And I have, oh, bone broth, as you know. Uh, I make my own and I freeze them in portions and I have them all the time in my freezer door. I can just grab and go. And what I'll do is I will either consume this as a latte that I froth up with beef tallow, or I often put uh, one of these cubes into a batch of soup. If I'm making kimchi jjigae or any kind of soup, I put a bone broth cube in just to boost the nutrition. And uh, yeah, let's see. Am I missing anything? Uh, a few bonus items. This is the brand, this is the kind of cocoa I use. I just like this brand the best. I, I do like the Hershey's brand cocoa too, um, but this one, I think this one is a little bit higher quality. It's non-GMO, it's organic. I don't mind the Hershey's brand one, I have to say, but having tried this one, this one is much smoother and it's paler in color, but the the taste is better. I can discern a better uh, taste with this one. So it's, it's silkier and it's just more robust. And so I do taste a difference. Therefore, I have repurchased this. This is my third container of this. So I like um, frothing that into decaffeinated coffee, or sometimes I will do it in my regular coffee in the morning. Another bonus item that I didn't share, but I do uh, eat on a daily basis are, I have, each day I will have one Brazil nut uh, for the selenium. So I eat that. And those are just ordinary Brazil nuts from the grocery store. And something else I thought I would show is, this is the salt I use. It's Redmond's Real Salt. It's unrefined mineral salt. It's mined in America. I do need uh, good quality sodium uh, as far as electrolyte balance goes and to keep my system uh, healthy. And I also, years ago, when I reintroduced salt after being salt abstinent for many years, uh, I noticed a huge difference in my overall mood and my well-being, overall well-being. So salt is something that I'm never without. And I, I often, um, sprinkle some salt in my water in the morning when I drink my water in the morning. But of course, I want to say with all of these and with diet in general, nothing is ever, how do I want to say this? I think I'm rather agnostic when it comes to diet. I'm an omnivore. So while I eat 
you know, I build my meals, in fact, around plants and vegetables. So in that way, I, I follow a plant-centric diet because I eat so many vegetables, around seven to 10 cups of vegetables every day. And so, in fact, I eat more plant food than many of my vegan friends, interestingly, because they rely on heavily processed mock meats and mock um, animal foods. But I digress. The, the point is I'm an omnivore and I'm not, the, the reason I say I'm agnostic when it comes to diet is because I don't follow any particular diet. Rather, I follow what suits me and serves me, serves my needs, serves my preferences, my palate, my, um, what I can access, you know, on a regular basis. One thing missing in the nutrition community that I see is the, uh, there's not that much emphasis on something that I think is very important, which is variability. And I mean that both in the diet variability, but also in the behavior around eating. There seems to be this rigidity that I observe, and I would advise against that. So anything extreme, anything taken to the extreme, I think has deleterious effects on both the mind and the body. So that's just my opinion. I think it's important for me to consume both animal products and plant products, so plant foods. So I include both. And I think that's very important. I've not ever been in better uh, shape, mentally, emotionally, physically, everything. So I think it is up to the individual to take responsibility for dietary choices, of course. But I say that hoping that you will take everything I say with a grain of salt or anything anyone says with a grain of salt. What you put into your body doesn't affect mine and vice versa. So the onus is on each of us to choose a diet that will help us be thriving and healthy for a long time and that means maintaining a healthy weight, uh, maintaining emotional and mental clarity and balance and stability and uh, enjoying it because food is of course a source of pleasure as well as a source of uh, nourishment. So there's all these factors. There are so many variables involved. So what I'm trying to say is there's no one blueprint that's going to suit everyone. You have to find the diet that's going to suit you. And at the end of the day, the diet that's going to suit you is the one that you can follow, the one that you can adhere to for hopefully the rest of your life. So I hope this was helpful in sharing what I buy, exactly what I buy and what I eat and consume. And you can leave in the comments down below uh, what, what do you eat? What do you like to eat and why you like to eat it and what kind of benefits you get from that. Uh, that way we can all learn from each other, which is uh, the whole point here. <laughs> so I wish you the very best of luck. I wish you the best of health. And thank you as always for watching and spending some time with me.